Hey guys, it's Half I am back again, and this is going to be a nail art tutorial. Uh, just recently on my Instagram, I posted a picture of a bright yellow manicure, and lots of people seem to really like it. So I thought I would show how I did it, but I'm using different colours just to show some options. Um, and yeah, so I'll insert a picture of the original manicure here. So on my nails right now, on these two little ones, I have Revlon's Pink Pineapple. It does smell like pineapples, sort of, um, but it is a really streaky, horrible formula. It took me like four coats to get it to look even. And on these two, I have Bright Lucite from Sinful Colors, which is one of my favorite baby blue type shades. Over the top of both of those, I have Sally Hansen's Big Matte Top Coat. Now, I do recommend, if you want your manicure to last any length of time, that you use a quick dry top coat like Sesh Feet or something like that first and let that dry and then put on your matte top coat. Matte top coat does tend to make your nail polish chip a lot quicker. So that, by using a quick dry top coat, you can actually prevent that. Um, you can see because I had four layers of uh, nail polish on, it didn't quite dry properly and I dinked it. So just pretend it looks perfect. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to paint swirls on these nails. On the pink nails, I am going to use this one, which is a super old Sally Hansen. Hard as nails, this is cotton candy. In the original manicure, I used a, a Sally Hansen as well um, in Lemonhead. And on the blue nails, I'm going to use this Sally Hansen. This is blue raspberry. So I just have, it's actually a stamping scraper which I use as a palette. And I have a fairly fine um, paintbrush. So I'm just going to put some of the cotton candy on my palette. You can see it's quite a thin, runny, but very sparkly nail polish. It's great. And load up the brush. And just paint whatever design on your nails that you want. So I'm doing swirls, you could do dots, you could do circles, anything that you want. This is actually a very similar technique to what you do if you want to do uh, sweater nails. I mean normally most people do sweater nails with um, gel polishes because it helps to like build up the, the texture of it but if you go over normal polish a couple of times you can actually get the same effect so I'm just going to paint a spiral on this nail of fluff on the brush of course and that is basically all you need to do. See, so it's a super quick type of design, but it looks really, really cool. Especially if you use a, I found it looks best if you use like a cream base and then a sparkly on the top. So I'm just going to do the fingers and then I'll be back.
super simple but really effective nail art. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail tutorial type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.